Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your file transfer protocol server to be available on the internet. As I created the video on how to configure and to install FTP server in Windows operating system. You can watch the video and the link I provided in the description. But today I'm going to show you how not to make your FTP server from your local network to be available on the internet. To access an FTP server using command prompt, you have to type this command FTP. Even in Linux, you can use this command. Open. My FTP server is hosted at this port. 192.1.21.21. This address. You can see now it's open. Now, I can be able to log in and the file is inside this home directory. Um, this one, there is a folder new phone. Even if I try to access it through. So file explorer, you can see. Um, been over the login prompted to login and I can access it in file explorer. So now I want it to be accessible on the internet and I this is my server. And is connected to this router where I have to navigate to the router configuration. Open your browser. Then type your The router's IP address. Put the user the password and log in. The setting configuration may differ with different routers. I'm using a wireless router that is why I configure it you with a user interface. But you can configure with command if you are not using a wireless router. I create the video for it. Then navigate to advanced. Then you have to network address translation forwarding. This one you have to click on virtual server or port forwarding in some routers. Once you open on the virtual server, you can see I don't have server right here. I have to create a server now. The wireless interface is promoting me in this one. This is an application. The safe step I'm going to choose FTP. Then the port is default 21. The internal port and external port. Make sure you put this into port 21. At least you can customize it. Depend on it. What you are going to use in the protocol here, you can choose TCP, UDP, or here you have to put an internal address that you can get. You can navigate to your server command prompt and type this. Config 
if your server is sort hosted on the network, you can access it through SSH and find the record, the address. This, this one. One eight two one six eight one. Zero two. One of the regions. You can now the status is on. You can disable the status if it's running, or you can end up by clicking on it. But the compression setting may differ with different routers. The step are the same while comparing this display or UTP. Now you have to check your public IP address. Come here in the internet. Okay, not here. In the status here, you can see your your one interface IP address is this one. That is your IP address, your static IP address you provided with. If I try to open, you can see I'm able to access my router anywhere with this IP address. Now I'm going to. So now you can see with a different computer, you can. You can run OFTP command, you can open connection to this address. You can open connection to this anywhere now, provided you have an internet connection. Thanks so much, my friends.